Rents are toppy at the moment, there's no doubt about that. Uh, we're at the high point of the commercial rent market. It's the guys who had rents fixed about four or five years ago, so your 2012, 13s, they're coming up for review now, and that's where it's really having a massive effect. Overnight, rents are doubling, uh, tenants are in shock, and really they don't know where to go. Um, they can't really accept it. Uh, it becomes a real focus for their business as a going concern. So they have limited options. The reason why rents are so high now is because we're at the high point of the economic cycle. We're in a toppy, boom type, overheated uh, and oversupplied commercial property market. So uh, landlords are very conscious that they have to get that uh, rent of view uh, agreed or decided on by an arbitrator before the down cycle begins. If your premises and location are important to you, you know you're just going to stay and take it on the chin. But I suppose you can weather it a little bit more because your business is doing better. It's when the down cycle happens and you're stuck with the high rent. That's really where the problems begin for a lot of businesses. The commercial lease governs what happens in rent review. Every commercial lease um, has a five year rent review provision. And the fifth year, the landlord will usually serve notice of rent review. The tenant has to then uh, engage a surveyor um, and they will prepare their own report. Surveyors will exchange reports and ultimately, if they can't agree on the rent, then it goes to an arbitrator, uh, usually appointed by the Society of Chartered Surveyors in Ireland, SESI. Uh, the arbitrator is appointed and then the parties then uh, uh, put the best foot forward by way of submissions uh, to the arbitrator. Arbitrator then makes the decision and that decision with all arbitrations is final and binding. So it's not like you have a, a, a court of appeal to go to. There are limited uh, options before the High Court though. So where the lawyers come in is, after the arbitration, you're stuck with a final and binding decision, and now you can't believe that the arbitrator has agreed with the landlord's position that your rent is, is to have doubled. So when they come to us, uh, it's usually like, where, where can we go, what can we do? The only route they have available to them is by way of a challenge to the arbitrator's award before the High Court. So how do you do that? Well, you have to analyze the award, see if the arbitrator has made mistakes, have they gone outside the remit, have they been fundamentally unfair to one of the parties, have they not allowed the parties to make representations, have they run roughshod over people's rights. And in those circumstances where the arbitrator has, um, has done that, then there is good scope uh, under public policy and under specific provisions of the Arbitration Act. Uh, and other legislation to do that. So what we can do to support businesses who've found their rents doubled overnight is, we can test the metal and whether they have a possible good legal challenge or not. And sometimes it's a matter of turning the stone. To have accepted your rent has doubled uh, is a very difficult thing to do. So obviously the tenant is gonna come to us and say, look, what can we do here? We'll look at the legislation, we'll look at the award, we'll do critical analysis of it and say, look, you've got a good or not so good case. These are your odds. So we'll give you your odds, and uh, we'll give you the time length, and we'll give you the cost, how much this thing is going to cost. Then you can make an informed decision and, and ultimately, hopefully, be able to make a challenge before the High Court.